Managing your investment income and understanding your tax obligations is essential. Let's explore the different aspects of investment income and what you need to declare. It all starts with understanding when to declare investment income. Whether it's interest, dividends, rental income, or capital gains, you must declare income earned from your investments. You're responsible for reporting these incomes, whether you receive payments directly or through a partnership like a share club or trust. If you jointly own assets with someone, the income is typically divided equally unless you can prove otherwise. Make sure to document your shared ownership accurately. Now, let's talk about interest income. If you're an Australian resident and earn interest, it must be declared as income. This includes interest from financial institution accounts, term deposits, and even interest from children's savings accounts under specific conditions. Dividend payments are a common form of investment income, often from shares. You must declare dividend income from listed investment companies, trading trusts, and more. Some dividends come with imputation or franking credits, which you need to report accurately. If you own rental properties, declaring rental income is crucial. Report the full amount of rent, any rental bond, and other related payments you receive. Remember to include income from overseas properties and goods and services received as rent. Managed investment trusts and crypto assets are also part of your investment income. Declare income or credits from trust investment products like cash management trusts and mortgage trusts. When you sell or dispose of managed investment trust units or crypto assets, you need to report capital gains or losses. In conclusion, managing your investment income and understanding tax obligations is a vital part of your financial journey. Always stay informed and seek professional advice when needed. Remember that accurate reporting ensures financial stability. Secure your financial future and stay informed. For more detailed guidance, visit the official government website, 